May I ask you to close your eyes? Yes, please, all of you. Now, can you imagine how you can use your smartphone, your tablet, or your laptop without seeing its display? Yes, yes, I know, it's almost impossible. Do you know that in November 2009, Syracuse University and the University of Wisconsin-Madison rejected Amazon e-reader, the Kindle, because it wasn't accessible enough for blind students. Authorities at National Federation of Blind applauded their decision stating that the device in its current form denied blind equal access to the electronic textbooks. Do you know that currently there are more than 38 million totally blind people on our planet and more than 285 million visually impaired? Popular belief has always contended that blindness in its form leads directly to deficiency in capacity. Research shows that in case of children, this is likely to impede many areas of development that can ultimately lead to unemployment, social isolation, lack of participation in the community, and psychological maladjustments. Nowadays, in the era of internet and mobile electronic devices, we have many computers and they have changed our lives. In the same time, it has become more and more difficult for those with severe visual impairments to adjust to and use graphic content. The sense of touch can potentially bridge the gap for understanding abstract concepts and using all of these things that we have today. However, inaccessible touchscreen devices present severe accessibility barriers to many blind people seniors and those who suffer of partial sight loss. And we believe that passionate IT inventors like us can change lives of blind people more than any other group in this world. That's why we want to tell you today a story about a new social class device which doesn't exist on the market yet. Around two years ago, when I was a last year master student at the Technical University of Sofia, a colleague of mine sitting next to me asked me to sign him online for the Innovation Management course. I did it. But after that, I realized that he was totally blind. For the first time, we realized that something which is given to us, to you, all sighted people, they are, they are not able to use it. That's why we decided to make a step and to think how we can change this. And IT technology, the IT sector, appears to lack a solid understanding about their strengths and challenges that they are facing every day. There are a lot of technologies like braille note takers, like keyboards and digital books. They're expensive, they're poorly supported, and they're also developed in isolation from blind people, and all these leads to their inefficient use. Let us introduce you our innovative wish for change. Have you ever seen a tablet for blind people? But not just a tablet, an electronic book, which instead of using a screen, displays small physical bubbles. They can rise and fall on demand, composing text in braille code. It uses an innovative technology that gives blind people the opportunity of interacting with sensitive surface. For the first time, they will be able to go to the park, read their favorite ebook, chat with friends, and navigate back to their home. Have you ever thought about next generation braille devices for reading and writing? It strive, we, we actually strive to involve people with visual impairments actively in the high technology era and also improve their ability to access in the social and digital world. Our commitment to innovation and social impact has helped us to generate this idea. This rich user experience was evolving and was developed thanks to the, the, the 
communication and uh, the collaboration with Brow Technologies, uh, a lot of blind volunteers and experts that we're working with. So it will be a success of our striving for excellence in personal and professional ventures to turn our creator from our mind's eye into the palms of our hands. And we believe in its potential. We know how, how, how big is, is positive impact and we know that it will be happen. So te we, we are all thanks to the Tune Fonts that we will believe in our potential and we want that to happen. Thank you. Thank you.